Okay, so there are several steps to get that perfect melt-in-your-mouth donut. I'm also going to reveal in this video two big mistakes commonly made when making donuts. Let's get started. I'm going to start by adding the warm water and the yeast. I'm gonna give that a little mix and then we're gonna let that rest for 10 minutes because this is where the first mistake can happen. After 10 minutes, this is what your yeast should look like. If it doesn't puff up like this, you have to throw it out and start over. It means that the yeast is no good. So in this case, it's very good. We're gonna go ahead and add our milk, sugar, salt, eggs, and shortening. I'm also going to add two cups of flour and I'm gonna give that a mix with my spatula. As I'm adding the third cup of flour, I'm going to start mixing at low speed. And here's where mistake number two can happen. Adding too much flour to your dough will make it way too dense. In the video recipe that I saw, it says to add flour and once your dough doesn't stick to the bowl anymore, you can turn it out to a well-floured surface, but that would be way too much flour. I ended up adding six cups of flour and it was still very sticky, sticking to my bowl, sticking to my hands. So what I did, instead of adding more flour to it, I took it out of the bowl, even if it was sticking to my hands, and I let it rest on a plate for five minutes. After five minutes, I could pick it up with my hands, and even though it stuck to the plate a little bit, it wasn't sticking to my hands. It was ready. My dough is very light, fluffy, and elastic. The next step is to place it in a well-oiled bowl, and I'm gonna cover it with a damp cloth, and I'm gonna let that rest for one hour. After letting it rest for one hour, I placed my dough on a cookie sheet. I didn't punch it down or anything. I didn't knead it anymore. I simply placed it on the cookie sheet and I rolled it out with a rolling pin. And this is a neat hack because your dough will be perfectly leveled and rectangular and ready to use. Sprinkle a little bit of flour on top before you start cutting out your donuts. I did a combination of cookie cutters, biscuit cutters, I did different shapes, and you just do this how you like. After I shaped my donuts, I let them rest for about 20 minutes and then they were ready for frying. I let those fry for about four to five seconds on each side. They do cook very quickly. After they cool down, dip them in your favorite glaze or toppings. You can top these with anything, chocolate, hazelnut, any topping that you would like. These donuts were so much fun. We really enjoyed them. Light, fluffy, and tasted so good.
These are definitely worth giving a try. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe.